Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be my 37 week pregnancy bump date and I hope this one will be a lot shorter since I'm doing them weekly instead of bi-weekly now. I'm going to the doctor weekly. I had my 37 week appointment today. Um, they didn't do anything major. It was kind of like pee in a cup, check my blood pressure. Blood pressure was perfect. It was like 110 over 70 or something like that. Um, get on the scale, check the baby's heartbeat. It was about 135 and uh, you know, me measure my fundus height, the measurement on my belly, and feel around for the baby. They still think she is not head down, um, so that's kind of a bummer. We we had expected it. I do have an ultrasound scheduled for one week from tomorrow, and that'll be our last check. So if she's not head down by then, it's definitely a C-section, but there's still a small chance that she'll flip on her own. Um, as far as, like, the doctor's um, instructions, you know, I asked a little bit about more about what the c-section entailed and, and what I needed to what I should be doing to prepare and things like that and I want to be ready so I'm like are you going to check me if I'm dilated or whatever she said we checked you at 36 weeks there's nothing um, to worry about and if you're not having any contractions or anything there's no medical need for us to check you at 37 weeks um, we'll see you back in a week and if anything happens in the meantime give us a call I'm like okay so they did not check me today um, to see if I dilated at all but um, I don't know, I don't feel like I've progressed much. I do feel the baby is like moving a ton. And not just like boom, 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 little kicks. I mean like woof, woof, woof. Like just big old movements. And you can see it, my stomach moving from across the room. So that's kind of neat to be able to watch that and have other people who have never seen that before. Um, I'm still going to physical therapy and there was a boy next to me. He was like probably 15 or so and he had never seen it. And uh, I was talking with the guy, the physical therapy guy who knows I'm pregnant and that's why I've been going to physical therapy and he was, his wife is pregnant and he was, already knows it's a boy so, I mean his wife is like pretty pregnant, you know, like at least halfway and the little boy next to us, or little boy, he's a teenager, he was like, whoa, I've never seen that, you know, before. I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's crazy when it's you though, because when you feel it, you're like, what the heck? It's like your body is like... You have an alien or something going on. You're like a host for some weird creature, but it's neat. I still like it. I, I still get happy feelings when I feel it rather than, um, you know, weird anymore. It's Now it's just like a part of life. Um, she doesn't like it when I sit in per certain positions. She doesn't like it if I, like, set things up against it. Like, I'll do this, and she'll be like, uh, no. She'll, like, give me a, pound, a bounce, a push, a kick, a, um, an arm a punch, I don't know what she's doing, what body part it is, but she'll let me know if I lean against something a little bit too much, if I'm leaning against a table or whatever, she'll be like, uh, ma? No. <laughs> so that's kind of neat too. Um, but yeah, I asked the doctor and she just basically said, you know, if you're having contractions or whatever, give us a call um, for the C-section. She said, you know, average is about three nights, so if we're having it at Wednesday at noon, that would be Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. We'd probably go home on Saturday. Um, but we could go as soon as Friday or as late as Sunday, just depending on if there are any complications. But um, I asked her about nail polish because I heard like you weren't supposed to wear nail polish. And she said back in the day you weren't supposed to wear any at all. Now they say um, you can wear it but not like acrylic nails or you know stuff like that. But she also said the color of the polish shouldn't be too dark because then the, what's it called, pulsometer or something like that? The pulse thingy that they put on your finger can't read your pulse through it or something like that. So I was like, hmm, okay, well my next, uh, right now I have gray on, but my next manicure will be a lighter color just in case I go in unexpectedly. But um, there are 15 days from today um, when that's when I'm scheduled to have a C-section, but it could happen sooner. Um, I go for the doctor's appointment in eight days and that's when they will determine if the c-section is still scheduled so getting a little nervous it's coming it's happening it's real um, I've been looking at what I packed in my hospital bag for a vaginal delivery and kind of like thinking if I needed to change anything for the c-section but uh, pretty much I'm going to keep everything the same I just might throw in an extra outfit or something just because I'm going to be there longer and I also thought about bringing one more outfit for the baby because she's going to be there longer <clears throat> but they can wear like a onesie or something like 
It doesn't have, it's like smaller than a washcloth, like her little onesies. I just don't know how big she's going to be. As of right now, she should be about seven and a half pounds if the um, ultrasound that we had done four weeks ago, three weeks ago is accurate. So they said like they grow half a pound a week. At that time, she was five pounds, four ounces. So she should have gained about two pounds by now. Um, <clears throat> so she could be, uh, or three weeks since, let me start over. <laughs> Um, they should gain about half a pound a week, and three weeks ago, she weighed five pounds and 14 ounces. So that would be like seven pounds and six ounces, basically, is what she should weigh today. Probably by Thursday of this week, she should be about seven and a half pounds. Kind of interesting. I mean, who knows if they actually gained that much exactly, and who knows if their measurements were accurate, but they gave us an estimate, so that's what I'm going off of. I definitely feel like I have a seven pound brick on my bladder sometimes, so that's kind of interesting. Good to know that it's legit, like there is something that's seven pounds in my body. Um, I am still short of breath. I had a meeting today on the phone for work and I, I talked the entire hour like it was me, all me. Everybody just muted themselves and listened to me talk. And I was like, I found myself doing that. And at one point, you know, I had a hiccup and then like I had to like stifle a burp. And <clears throat> it was for a bunch of women and so I just was like, sorry guys, I'm 37 weeks pregnant. I'm just trying my best. <laughs> You know, I'm like, I'm really out of breath. They're like, oh, just hang in there. You know, and they talk about their babies and stuff. So women seem to be pretty understanding. Um, I'm definitely winded, though. Probably you can tell in this video. I'm like, <sighs> I'm not editing out anymore anything, pretty much. I just, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, the gist of, like, the medical side of it. Now, what am I feeling? Um, my hands still hurt really bad and they hurt differently than they used to. So it used to just be my fingertips would get numb and like excruciating in the middle of the night. Now um, that still happens but it's not as bad. But what I get now is like in the mornings, oh my gosh, I can barely, can't make a fist. Like I can't close my hand all the way, I'll just be like, uh, and I can't close it. Uh, my thumbs lock up, I have to use my other hand to like straighten my fingers. Um, about half of my fingers do that and <laughs> it's weird. It's definitely weird when you've never had, I feel like I have arthritis or something. Um, and then as the day progresses, I suddenly am able to do stuff. I, my fingers become more um, okay. But I've noticed that it's like after I go to sleep, then I wake up. And I noticed even after a nap, I took an hour nap the other day. And when I woke up, my hands hurt just as if I've been sleeping. So I think it is a neck thing. I think it is a posture thing. It's the way I sleep. It's the laying down a certain way, and I wish I knew what it was so I could fix it, but the only way I can seem to fall asleep now is my left side. Lying on my left side, one pillow only, with the U-shaped pillow also, um, where the U is at the, my feet, and I use the, you know, the side of the U, and I kind of like hug it and put one leg over it, so, um, to support my belly. So, that's the only way I've been able to sleep. If I sleep on my right side, I instantly, like within a few minutes, I have like chronic pain in my right hand. So I always have been kind of laying on my left side in general, and that seems to work the best. I will sleep seven or so hours a night, but I wake up about every hour or two, um, whether it's because my hands hurt, because I have to go to the bathroom, just because I have like pregnancy insomnia, I'm not sure. I am swollen, again, not wearing my ring, um, and I may not for the rest of the pregnancy. It's just, it's hard. I do when I want to feel pretty or when I want people to see that I'm married or whatever, but I don't wear it daily. Um, it's just, because then also when I go to physical therapy, they um, work on my hands, and so I don't like getting like ultrasound goo, and I use putty twice a day to like play, you know, to do my physical therapy exercise, and I don't want putty in my diamonds, and I don't know, I'm just weird, but my hands hurt constantly. Um, oh, my weight, so between weeks 34 and 36, I had a two week gap between appointments, that's the last time I'll have two weeks in between appointments, I gained four pounds. And uh, was like, hmm, nobody said anything, but it was kind of a lot for two weeks, four pounds. And I had only gained 17 pounds for till 34 weeks. So it was about half a pound a week is like my average um, over 34 weeks. And then I gained four times that, you know, two pounds in each week. I was like, huh, okay, that's weird. Well, then I went today and I had actually lost two pounds. So I don't know if it was like the time of the day, if I had just eaten really bad, if I was like really bloated, carrying a lot of extra water, or if I really did gain Two, or lose two pounds since the last appointment, but the doctor didn't say anything about it, so I'm sure they're not concerned. I'm still, with that two pound loss, I'm still just under the 20 pound mark, which is where they wanted me to be, 11 to 20 pounds based on my starting BMI, so technically I'm still good. Um, the baby's supposed to gain it about, if I have two weeks left, she should gain another pound. So 
Um, that means that or I have three weeks left, she could gain another pound and a half. So even if I don't gain anything fat wise or whatever, I could still gain another couple pounds. Eh. Oh well, I'm not too worried about it at this point. I think I did pretty well maintaining most of the time. I have to give a lot of credit to that, um, about that, to vomiting. <laughs> but, you know, if that's one, the only good thing I can say about the vomiting was that I didn't gain as much weight as a lot of other people did in their pregnancies. I'm okay with that. I didn't have, you know, with that, what's that issue that women have where they cannot keep food down? Like, I still steadily gained a half a pound a week, but... Um, some women like lose like a lot of body weight and it's like dangerous. I didn't have that, so I should be grateful, right? Um, we are getting ready for baby. We're pretty much ready already, but I now I'm starting to like second think things and uh, just putting things in place and um, getting ready to take some time off work. I will be taking eight weeks, um, probably May 10th through like the 4th of July, um, at least if all goes as it's currently scheduled. So. Um, I'm looking forward to having that time off. I know the C-section recovery is not going to be easy, but I've gotten a lot of nice comments from you guys like saying, it's not that bad, I did it, you know, you can do it too, just take it easy. Um, the doctor did say I can go up and down the stairs once a day. I asked again today, and she said, it's going to feel like your insides are coming out, <laughs> but if you feel like you can do it once a day for the first week, and then after that, you can increase it as you need to. Um, I asked about if I can drive after the C-section. She said, usually that's about three weeks. I was like, oh, that's a lot. And she said, you don't have to technically like be medically released. Like she doesn't have to tell me, okay, you can drive now. She said, one, you have to be off the narcotics, so no more Percocet or whatever else they're gonna give me for the pain after the C-section. And two, she said, you can't feel like your insides are falling out or feel like you need to hold your incision when like if you're startled or like if like, like let's say my husband's driving and somebody cuts us off and I, I wanna go, oh, you know, I can't have the natural tendency to wanna like hold my my incision because that means I need to be focusing on the road. So if I can't quite still keep my hands on the road, like on the steering wheel and focus on the road, if I'm more distracted about my um, incision, then I shouldn't be driving. So three weeks, that sounds rough. That means basically like the entire month of May, after my May 10th C-section, I won't be driving. Um, that's okay, we'll just keep the car seat in one car. We just bought one car seat but two bases. So we'll just keep it in one car and make that work. I do want to, I have like a list of things I want to do like nesting wise before the baby comes. Um, we cleaned out our junk drawers. That was pretty exciting. Um, but I also want to vacuum out the cars because in Arizona it gets really hot in the summertime. I'm not going to feel like bending over and vacuuming. I don't anymore like now, but I will feel less like it once I have a newborn and a C-section scar. But um, so I want to do that. I want to take a trip to Costco and stock up on some stuff, paper goods, like toilet paper, but if it doesn't happen, you know, we'll Amazon Prime <laughs> order things, and that's, that's okay, too. But uh, we're still planning all of that, and we still have two weeks, so if things go as planned, then uh, we should have plenty of time to do things. Who knows? I know a lot of women who have given birth in their 37th week or at 38 weeks, so a lot of women in my family, women that I'm close to, but I'm not showing the signs yet. Then again, I don't know if any of them were, uh, but I do know my baby is measuring larger than all of their babies, pretty much, at this point, so... Who knows? <laughs> my fundus measurement was not as measuring ahead as it used to be. It used to be about three centimeters ahead. So like when I was 24 weeks, I would measure 27 weeks. It should be the same. Um, I am 37 and I measured 38. So that's good. That means like I'm not growing at a crazy rate anymore. But I definitely feel pregnant. <laughs> Let me tell you. I feel really pregnant, out of breath. Um, I've been starting to get like lightning crotch where I'll just be walking and then I feel pressure way down low. Or like a zing, like, ooh, you know, when I'm walking on, we take the dog for walks. I get a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. My belly gets rock hard. They don't necessarily hurt, but I can definitely feel them. I've also been really craving a warm bath. I want my Epsom salt. I wish I could use the entire bag of Epsom salt. I don't. I keep it reasonable, but I would like to take three baths a day in warm water with lavender. I've been really liking Dr. Teal's. Um, this stuff, this isn't empty from my empties container. Dr. Teal's um, Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. This is the um, Soothing and Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. This is amazing. And then I actually bought Dr. Teal's The Plain, like not lavender, and I've been adding lavender drops for my essential oils. I like that too. I did ask the doctor, so since I'm having a C-section, how long is it going to be before I can take a bath? And she said several weeks. So... Dang, I've been really enjoying baths. I haven't taken a shower in I don't know how long. I'll do like a bath shower combo, but like just a straight up shower. 
I haven't done in a long time. Like I'll stand up in the bathtub and turn the shower head on and like, you know, finish up, but I haven't done just a shower in a long time. So that'll be interesting. Um, I also want to clean up like the bathrooms and like, you know, get, get the, um, get things organized like the guest bath versus the hall bath versus the what's going to go where and where we're going to keep our extra towels and where we're going to keep the baby's bath stuff. Um, she'll be bathing in the kitchen sink probably for a while anyway so that's fine but um, I just kind of want to have everything in of its place and the maid is coming tomorrow probably the day you're watching this actually so she'll be tidying up as needed so I need to tidy up tonight you know clean before the cleaning people come <laughs> I don't know we all do that don't we but I just like her to be able to clean and then right now like my desk is just cluttered with crap so um, I need to put that away um, I have kept up on laundry at this moment we have zero laundry in our laundry basket dirty and no laundry to be put away I'm trying to keep it that way it is not easy though <laughs> um, I am only scheduled to go into the office five more times before I have the baby so I've been trying to think about like what I want to wear are there any maternity clothes I haven't worn yet things like that but pretty much I have worn everything and I am I'm done being pregnant but if the baby is ready I'm ready if she's not I'll hang out for a little bit um, let me know if you guys have any questions for a Q&A video or suggestions for videos that I could pre-film in the next couple of weeks before the baby comes I have pre-filmed a little but I would like to pre-film some more um, here's my week 9 bump shot and this is my week 37 bump shot definitely getting bigger and I did take an embarrassing close-up of my stomach my belly button has not popped but it wants to um, I'm starting to get the linea negra thing up the center of my belly but it only starts really low and goes up to the belly button and it doesn't go any higher than that uh, my boobs feel really he heavy and bigger um, but obviously I haven't leaked or anything I don't think there's anything in them just yet but it's good to know my body's progressing they definitely started hurting more like they did in the beginning of pregnancy where I, I kind of could have forgotten that they hurt for a little while there now they're back to hurting again so I guess that's a good sign it's progress um, lower back pain is happening I cannot lie on my back I cannot lay on the recliner in the living room I have to either sit straight up at the dining room table or sit straight up in the chair or I sit at the edge of the recliner like with no, nothing behind me and just like sit up straight you know because I can't lay back it just makes my hands fall numb I'm not comfortable my back hurts yada 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 so that is it for my week 37 update don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already and follow me on social media so you are alerted when I do go into labor or when I have the baby thanks for watching bye